folks, Johnny here of Mantic Games. We have just announced the Armada Taster set, uh, retailing at around £30. Absolutely fantastic way of starting out your journey into one of the best games we've ever produced, in my opinion. Absolutely fantastic game, very different if, if you're a big fan of Firefight or big fan of Kings of War, but you just want to play something different now and again, or you're just heart set on the sea and all you want to play is naval game, this is the game. The Taster Set is a fantastic way of getting involved with very little effort, very little cost. Um, starts you out with everything you could possibly need to get you started. So I thought we'd do a little video of showing you what exactly the Taster Set is, what you get involved. So, first of all, you get a paper mat. I open this out for you. It's a smaller board size than you can uh, the larger paper mat you get in the two-player set or the neoprene one. Highly recommend once you've uh, delved into Armada getting the neoprene mat because it is really really nice, um, much nicer sort of feel to to the game when you're playing on a, a neoprene mat. Uh, but the mat you get in the the paper mat you get in the taster set gives you enough space to play one ship versus one ship which is exactly what you need to just be learning the ropes and and getting a uh, an idea for for the game how the mechanics work and that sort of thing the best part about it is if i just hold that up for you you can see along two edges they have all the quick start tips and, and easy guides to help you play along. So you have the stats for your Gurpanther for the Basileans and your stats for the Blood Runner for the Orcs. I'll come onto those ships in a little minute. You also have your turn sequence, everything you need to know about how to roll for a wind and initiative, uh, all your shooting uh, stats, how, it move, how, how the shooting uh, phase works, all the modifiers for shooting, if I just turn it around, you then also have everything you need to know for boarding actions. You've got your critical hit table. Everything that you could need to help start you out is on the actual gaming mat itself. So you don't have to flick through the book um, for quick reference. It's all there on the table straight from the go. Moving on to the ships, you get one... Blood Runner. This is the Orc Blood Runner. He is. So these are both uh, medium-sized sh ships. So all the ships in Armada start from tiny, like the sloops, up to XL. So the so the medium really is the mid-range. So it's perfect for for getting started. They're the sort of the staple of of a fleet. Um, you might have a number of tinies and that sort of thing too. Uh, buff up your, you know, help uh, build up your points within a fleet or um, they're great as just a, a nuisance um, a lot of the time um, and then obviously your XLs are your very big ships you're, you're, you you maybe only have one to a fleet um, so you, your, mid, your mid range or your medium ships really are the, the bread and butter um, so the bread and butter of, of the Orcs would be something like the Blood Runner um, so that's uh, a great choice. Same with the Gurpanther for the Basileans. Um, both of these are fairly similar in the way that they run. Um, similar sort of weapon stats. So it's a nice balanced game when you're playing just these two against each other. Um, all our ships are resin. They all come unbuilt, unpainted, um, like all our models. Um, so most of them will be separated into the hull and then separate sails. We've improved on our quality of the, the way we're, we're casting a lot of the sails. Some of them in the start, you might know, were a little brittle, little fiddly, or we've gone back and we've redesigned and we've improved upon the way we cast a lot of the Armada ships, and I think they're absolutely fantastic now. Um, so all those problems that we may have had have been buffered out. Um, so yeah, you will get two ships, 
and then all your dice that you could possibly need for the game as well. So you'll get three blue, three red, three black, one green, and two d6. They operate on a d10. I had to just double check and count that. Um, do most of the dice in Armada. Um, all the d10s are the same. They're all all d10. They're just different colours, and this is to help denote uh, the different shots fire the different cannons within the game. So you have your light weapons, your heavy weapons, etc. Um, it just means that if you're firing a broadside that has two heavies, one light, you can roll all those dice at the same time. You just use the colours to differentiate which shot is which, and that speeds the game up rather than thinking, oh, I need to roll for this gun, then I need to roll for this gun. You just roll all at the same time. The rule book. Now, the taster set that is available for only this month it's £30. You're buying the rule book this month, you may as well buy the taster set because this is pretty much the same price on its own. So you're getting two ships, dice, and a mat essentially for free. It's an absolutely fantastic deal. Like if you if you have been on the fence about trying to get involved with Armada, now is the time to do it because this is a fantastic introductory set. If I open this up for you. True unboxing style. So there's the rule book. You get these cardboard sheets, which give you your ruler, your sight marker, your turn marker, all your counters that you need for wounds, for um, what battle speed you're going at, all the different. Um, mechanics within the game, you've got counters to track those. You also then get lots of these cardboard island pieces which you can add into the game um, which obviously then makes it a bit more interesting having to navigate around islands making sure you don't collide with them um, and all that sort of thing. And then you've got tokens for all your different uh, spells and what the, the rules and the things that the units can do so you're able to mark them off and know I've used that. Um, so as I say, counters for everything you could possibly need all in that counter sheet. And then full rule book. This isn't a taster rule book. This is the full rule book. Everything you need to get started all in here. Now, I already explained that the a lot of the reference is on this paper mat, which is great. But I will also point out that we've designed the book so that most of your reference is in the back page. So there's no flicking through and through and through trying to find, you know, where's this particular table. It's all there on the back page, which I think is a fantastic idea. And lots of different uh, ways of playing in here, lots of different scenarios. Um, you've got the options of the advanced wind rules. So um, you, can, you can start off with this game playing the, the basic win rules and then you can move into advanced as well, which then adds a whole new dynamic to the game. Um, lots of fluff in there as well if you want to learn about Armada background and, and the fleets and what they're about. Like I say, this is the same cost as the taster set when bought separately. So absolutely fantastic deal. Hopefully, that's whet your appetite to jump on board, excuse the pun, and uh, join us in Armada. It's personally my favourite game we do, absolutely love it, and I would love to see more and more people getting involved, playing our game, seeing all the fleets painted up. Remember, hashtag MyMantic, then you can get featured on our uh, midweek roundups. Start uh, looking out for tournaments and events once you've jumped on board and got the hang of it they're uh, they're really fun tournaments um, so yeah there we go absolutely fantastic deal um, don't know why anybody thinking about possibly getting into Armada would not jump on it right now it's only going to be here till for the rest of August jump on board you get everything you could possibly need to get started the ships the book you name it all in this little taster set. Hopefully see you again soon, guys. Thank you very much.